There's a new update with the Mighty Mine Season. The new hero is kind of like Escanor, but he's more of like a Mighty Miner. He switches lane. Look at that damage. It just ramps up like an Inferno Dragon, but it hits ground. Oh, that just melted the giant. Oh, you got all that swarm? Whoop! Into the other lane. 100 DPS up to 1,000 DPS. Oh, they put a, a bandit there. That's That's nothing. It's not that tanky, but you should never let him connect to your tower. I don't know why the, the trainer didn't defend against my mighty miner. And then take it out. Swap lanes. And then die. Just by the way, he's really bad against swarm troops. Look, he, he doesn't even one shot the skeletons. That dark goblin wrecked him, but it, you could swap to the other lane. Oh, it gets knocked back by Bowler, that. He's really strong, but he's really easy to counter, so it's nothing to be crazy about. Maybe I wanna swap lanes outside of that. Bomb's gonna deal like 300 damage. That's not bad. Can a half health Mighty Miner take out the tower? I know, the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. 3,000 damage. That could have all been stopped with one skeleton. This new champion's looking really good, but not as good as everyone that uses Kodoji, thank you. There's a Mighty Miner Tower Skin at Tier 10, Mighty Miner Emote at Tier 20, and an Epic Book of Cards at Tier 35. And badges we'll talk about in a moment, but we got the emotes and the towers now here. This Shovel Emote's gonna be in the Mining for Gold Challenge. The regular Miner, it's gonna be in the shop. And there's the Season Pass one. This one will be in the Mighty Miner Launch Party. Oh, and it's not gonna be limited. Whoa, this is the debt build, everything's subject to change, but are they really giving a Book of Common on five wins? Launch Party happens March 31st. There's the emote. That's nice. And of course, you're going to be able to build a deck with them. Mighty Miner Draft for Gems. This is going to be April 7th to the 13th. And it's 50, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5 gems. Wait, it's less and less? Okay. Supercell, are you implying the average player is bad and doesn't beat the challenge? <laughs> Imagine not having infinite continues without the season pass. <laughs> April 16th to 21st, you have the Mega Deck Challenge. Build 18 cards in here. Miners Mine for Gold. This is April 22nd to the 27th. There's the emote we're looking for. Six wins. And then to end off the season, two times Elixir, April 28th to the 1st. One legendary token and 30 gems. They're actually giving gems in these challenges? For party mode, we've got 2v2 touchdown draft, rage, ramp up, and three times Elixir. Wow. That was a new intro. This is the Miner Arena. I like the details. It's it's simple. That's why they're giving gems. Because the Mighty Miner mines for gems. That's why there's so many gems in the challenges. On the bottom, the King Tower has some mechanisms on there. Some little shovels in the Prince's Tower. There's the Mighty Miner logo on the top of the King Tower. That's, that's a nice touch there. These are Season Pass skins. And then you have the Gem Tower that's going to be available in the shop for money. Because it's gems. <laughs> I love that new intro sound. There's a pickaxe and this gem one. The princess towers are mine carts. And there's little gem crystals. So you can see the wheels and the princess towers. And then in the front, there's some candles there because it's minor. This is my new favorite tower skin. I love flexing expensive skins. I don't know how much it'll cost them. And then we have badges and balance changes. They've changed the way badges work. And we have all of these different mastery card badges where you can win battles and claim rewards. Oh, for the power of the death build, I just won five with that. Level one mastery. And I got a thousand gold for that. Ho ho hold up. Now there's different tiers of masteries too. I get experience for that. For the archer, deal a hundred and five thousand damage, and I can get two hundred archer cards. And then for the second mastery, hit seventeen fifty arrows, and I can get three thousand gold. And the looks like there's three levels of task progress and two tiers of mastery. The third one we're not going to get yet, but it it's coming in the next update. Next next update. Maybe now people will play different cards instead of log bait that they've been playing forever or top two point six since two thousand sixteen. I'm not triggered. You're triggered. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got card masteries too. All of these ones that I, I gained up. Ooh. Got the gar... Gar... Goblin. Got the goblin. <laughs> Deal 33,000 damage. Hit 1,000 units. That's more reasonable because the archers are ranged. How about the giant? What does the giant do? Tower tapper. Hit the tower 490 times. So it's a little different for every unit. What would the arrows be? 
killed 10 billion skeletons. Troop destroyer, 420 troops. You could farm that so fast with Skarmy. All right, with the power of the dead build, we got all of these different things. Ram Rider unlocks at level 12. Okay, it's different. Fisherman's very unique. Pull 350 troops. So if they have a special mechanic, they're going to have a special task. I wonder what the battle healer's task is. Of course, it would heal 120,000 health. What in tarnation would rage be? Make 1,000 troops angry? Deal 425,000 damage with raged troops. Interesting. Rage 600 troops? You could do that so fast with Skarmy. So all these are going to have different badges and everything. And the borders are going to be more epic. Achievements. 2,500 battle achievement badge ramp up wins these badges can be upgraded six different times so win 25 then win 50 100 200 500 and then a thousand sudden death wins double elixir draft battle wins classic challenge wins grand challenge wins and the border levels up from wooden frame to not wooden frame to purple frame <laughs> Oh, there's a legend? There's eight tiers for this achievement badge, and the final one is like a legendary glowy one that I don't have access to. I like these badges! What is the knight? What would his second one be? Play him because he's good stats for the cost? Oh, no, no, no. Receive a total of 2,800 hits from the tower. So he's a tanky boy. They want him to tank. What about for the mighty miner? So level 12 is for the first task, and then we need to get him to level 13 for the second task. Hit troops or buildings 350 times with a fully charged attack. That's oddly specific. Hit a total of 350 troops. That would be fast if you got the goblin, archer, musketeer. <laughs> Wait, I just noticed you get one whole card for this task. That's so cash. You can complete these mastery tasks by playing in ladder, party mode, clan wars, challenges, and world tournaments. So in real modes, definitely not 7x because you could boost it so hard in 7x and you would just play down Skarmy and just farm every task in like one sitting. We saw this in the leaks, the vault. Valkyrie has a different icon. She's a little confused. She's she's like, I'm not sure if I'm in Clash of Clans or if I'm Clash Royale. Why not both? So for commons, the first set of tasks unlocks at level 7, and then the second set unlocks at level 10. For rare ones, though, the first task unlocks at level 8, and then the second task unlocks at level 11. Epics are level 9 and then level 12, and then legendaries are 10 and 13. Champions are 11 and 14. For task progress 1, you're going to get the cards. For the second task, you're going to get gold, and the third one, you're going to get 150 gems. And then for the second task, they give you gold, and then cards, and then gems. Quality of life improvement. Notice on the right side, there, there's no crown counter anymore. Thank you. I know when I've taken a tower, Supercell. Now it's not obstructing over there where if you need to put down troops. And then it appears when you take down the crown. And then it fades away. Why is it such a big deal? Because Clash Royale was designed on a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. But now modern phones are really longer. And look at the freaking crown. It, it obstructs on most mobile devices now. So now, in the update... There's no crowns there. They finally have the technology. Speaking about technology, you can finally copy and paste decks in challenges and global tournaments. The UI looks more polished too, a little cleaner there. And certain devices can toggle on and off 120 hertz. Ooh, yeah. Lightning now has a visual effect. So you can't just trick your opponents anymore. They're gonna know that you misplayed six elixir. Wait a minute. They're buffing the golden knight. His dash range is going up from 5 to 6. Oh yeah. He'll be more predictable, but the King Tower activation will be a little bit harder to do. Skeleton Giant. It's getting a hit speed 0.1% faster. That's 7%. And a 7% health boost. So I guess that makes him a slightly better viable win condition. Archers are going to hit 0.1 second faster. That's 9% faster. That's a significant DPS increase. And the Ice Spirit. Oh no. Slows for 0.3 seconds longer. That's 30% longer slow duration. Ice Bow just got a massive buff. Tombstone's getting a nerf though. 0.2 seconds slower spawn rate. That's 5% slower. This was too strong? Really? Okay. Ram Riders and Snare is going to be a little slower. It used to slow by 85%, but now it's going to slow 70%. Can't really see that because they're not moving. There it is. Slightly slower. Graveyard's getting a little bit of a nerf. Hear me out. One less skeleton. <laughs> Fixed graveyard. They're nerfing the Archer Queen again. Her speed boost was 200%. Now it's only plus 180%. They're really nerfing her ability. Not much though. <laughs> Valkyrie, you're not going to notice against Garmy, but her health is 4% lower. Wait, minus 20% spawn damage on Mega Nut? What have they done to my mid ladder boy? Elixir Collector though. It's about time they reworked it. Plus one Elixir when it's destroyed. But 
but it generates a little bit slower. It's going to generate one elixir less. Well, it's alive. It's still going to generate the same eight elixir. But if you lightning it six for six, it's still going to generate plus one. Electro Giant's getting a complete rework. And by complete, it's going to be one elixir less. So we now cost seven elixir. It's going to have 15% less health, 15% less damage, but it's still going to deal zap damage. So this is a massive buff in my opinion. Seven elixir. Oh boy. What makes this even more beautiful is that they made mirror plus two levels. Hear me out. Level 16 electro giant. Oh yeah. All right, let's, let's try out these decks. We, we both have mighty minor and all the balance cards. Our decks are complete dog water. And if he has lightning, you should totally lightning my elixir pump since they reworked it. Oh, that's wild. I got plus one from that. We're going to be obnoxious. We're going to put a Valkyrie to tank the Mighty Miner. Oh, that's actually perfect. Because he, he can't deal with skeletons. Look at him just drill away that one. Oh, uh, you know, I'm outie. I'm outie. I'm outie. Fine. Oh, no. I th honestly think... Units in the center are going to be really good against him. Just because if he swaps lanes, they're still going to kite. 300 damage on the tower. That's not bad. It's no longer a positive trade. I'm up one elixir. Although they got damage on my tower, so that's still kind of bad. Valkyrie's health nerfed a little bit. Giant skeleton's a big boom boom boy now. Deals a bit more damage. Oh, wait. Big brain play here. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Mighty Miner is going to wreck my Valkyrie. I'm scared. I'm... Wait, what happens? Does the Miner get stunned? Wait, wait, wait. Does the Electro Giant counter him? He does. It resets his attack. Oh, my word. Electro Giant hard counters the Mighty Miner. Like, we're just going all in. I'm just going to freeze all of that. Not today, Giant Skelly Boy. Not today. Oh. That is so good. Oh. No. 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 Mighty Miner. I don't think so. Okay. Um. So even though my Electro Giant was plus two levels, the fact that he had to swap lanes in the graveyard that I didn't defend. That's Mighty Miner. Easy to counter, but deals big boom booms if you ignore him. I'm excited for this update.